Let's switch out some handlebars. <laughs> Obviously, you need your handlebars. I got the Tusk. What is this? The Tusk T10. Uh, heat, heat treated T6 aluminum. Off road. What the hell? It says CR mid bend. So, very similar to the stock bars. A little bit different. Um, definitely a lot thicker. Way thicker. So they should hold up a lot better. Phillips head, Allen wrenches, 10 millimeter socket, torque wrenches, Polar Seltzer, the manual with all the torque specifications and stuff. So let's do this, I've never done it before. Oh, also, I have grips, where the hell are they? These things have been collecting dust for a long time. Pro Taper, Pillow Top, black. Might as well put them on now. I realized that little ball that went into the hole of the handlebar came off, so that's okay for this. But for this, the uh, the kill switch though, I'm gonna have to grind off that little ball. I don't know if you can see it from here. That little ball thing goes into the handlebars, kind of keeps it from turning, but. I gotta cut it off. I'm not gonna be drilling a hole through the handlebars. Doesn't make sense. So, I'm gonna grind that off with a little uh, Dremel. All right, we got that ball grinded off. Now we don't have to drill a hole through the handlebars. Took the pad off because it was getting in the way. Just gonna eyeball these. There are lines right here, so I'm going to use the end of the lines, line it up with the bolts, and that's how I'll know they're even. On these clamps on the stock WR, there is a little punch right here. You have to face that forward, according to the manual, that punch needs to face forward so I'm gonna put it on this way punches on the front I did it with this side already and the manual also says you gotta tighten the front bolts first and then you tighten the the back bolts alright so we got them screwed down 
tighten down the front first and then tighten down the rear screws and then I'm gonna torque it down to 20 foot-pounds of torque so let me go get the torque wrench so I actually decided to sit on the bike kinda of put these handlebars into the position I want I think I want them a little bit higher before they were down here with the stock bars but I kinda of want them angled up a little bit Maybe around there that looks good yeah right there that should be good so now I'm gonna to torque them down again by the way 20 foot-pounds is a lot for these little bolts so 20 All right, now we're gonna work on the left side. We're gonna get the grip on, get it started. I'm not going to torque down these bolts because it's very it's very low torque so you just gotta kind of judge it just don't go crazy trying to jam them down too hard all right so we're on the right side now manual says throttle first the switch second and then the brake last and uh, I totally forgot how to do this throttle so I'm actually going back to the video where I replaced the throttle tube so I could see how I did it you take the accelerator cable and pop. So I'm watching this and here I'm starting with the decelerator cable decelerator cable you first put that one in first then you twist the throttle. You take the accelerator cable. Twist the throttle forward. Slot. And then once those are in, you get the cable housing. All right, let's try this. On. Just gonna put a little grease on the bar. Some grease on these ball things again. And the cable. Grease them up. Just like I did before. Decelerator cable first. Pop that in. Nope, wrong. Right. So it's this first hole. Decelerator cable first. And then push it forward. Turn it forward. And then accelerated cable second. And then we're golden, I think. Got our housing on now. Feels good. I'm going to have this, the throttle grip, just about a millimeter two millimeters ahead of the handlebar that will give it space for the, the handguard all right we got the Phillip head screws in just gonna tighten them up these again I believe are 5.1 foot-pounds of torque make sure it's smooth it feels smooth all right onto the switch Gonna torque those down again five foot pounds, five point one foot pounds. 
That's it. 5.1 is not it's not a lot, so. All right, the last step, get the grip on, get the hand guards back on. Hopefully the hand guards don't give me a, a problem, but they shouldn't. If you wanna stick around, stick around for the grips and the hand guards. So right now I'm just wiping the throttle tube with some alcohol. Make sure there's no grease on it because that will really fuck up your grips. Note to self, I should have fucking put this goddamn grip on the throttle tube like I did last time first. Because now it's a pain in the ass. Can't get it for some reason. So I'm going to cut it, cut this part out. It's going to take me a while to get it on. There you have it, folks. I'm going to skip the hand guards. I don't think I need to show that. Um, so that's it. That was the install of the Tusk T10 handlebars. And uh, these handlebars were only 30 bucks. So they're a good replacement for stock. They're a lot thicker. The inner diameter, the inner wall is a lot thicker than stock. So they shouldn't bend as easily when I drop my bike 100 million times. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped. Hope it helped. And have a good one.